In this video, I will show you how to use CRT shaders and filters in RetroArch. In simple terms, CRT shaders and filters in RetroArch are visual effects designed to mimic the look and feel of playing games on old-fashioned TVS and arcade monitors. You will want to make sure to update the shaders first. Go to the main menu and look for the online updater. Click Enter and go down to Update GLSL Shaders. RetroArch will automatically install the latest shaders. Once that is complete, go back to the main menu. Keep in mind that you need to run a game for the Quick Menu and Shaders to show up. Select the Quick Menu option. Then, go down until you see Shaders. Click Enter and you will see Video Shaders. Click Enter again and the shaders will be turned on with more options below. Next, you will want to select Load Preset. You will see two folder options called Shaders GLSL and Shaders Slang respectively. If you are using GL Video Output, you will have access to GLSL. Otherwise, other video outputs such as Vulkan or D3D11 use slang instead. For now, let's test out some GLSL shaders. Go to CRT folder and select CRT GEOM. Press F1 and go back to the game and you will see an old TV look. Next, we will select out SABR folder and choose Hybrid Deposterize. This will smooth out the pixels and make it more modern looking. If you try out the Film folder and choose Technicolor, you will get an old school film feel to it. If you are fond of the old Game Boy look, choose the Handheld folder and select GB Color. Feel free to experiment with the shaders to find something you like. If you want to try out shader slang, you need to go back to the main menu. Then, go to Settings and select Video. Click on Output and change the video option to Vulkan. Now, restart RetroArch. Load up your game once more. Then go to Shaders and choose Shader Slang. We will try out the Cell folder and choose ADV Cartoon. The game becomes more pixelated. If you find a shader or filter you like, you will want to save it as a preset so you do not have to do it every time you load the game. In the Shaders menu, choose Save Preset. Here you can either choose Save Core Preset which RetroArch will auto-load this shader on the console, which is the SNES 9X. Or you can choose Save Game Preset, which will auto-load this setting when loading the game you are playing. That concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching.